Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall. On point reviews all day, every day. And it's morning, it's morning thoughts time. It's time to bring out what I promised a lot of you guys. This is it. It's time to unbox and check out for the first time this 10th anniversary Creed Aventus right here. So this one right here is Care Of Knows Paris. I was able to get it uh, in Europe. Uh, and I had it expedited sent here by my friend Mohammed. So first and foremost, I want to thank my friend Mohammed. Thank you very much for that, bro. And this one will be available in the United States on October 4. Okay, so mark your dates. Uh, this will come out in Creed Boutiques October 4. But yeah, this is the box right here. I have not opened it. And as you can see, you've got the 10th anniversary features right here. Nice new 10th anniversary logo uh you guys have seen the bottle in many pictures online but i guess it's it's something to actually see it in person and see how i react to seeing this bottle if it's something very special or not so anyways we're gonna open it right now Okay, we're opening the top right now. And it's pretty much still the same. You have the Creed uh, card right here at the top, as you can see, still right here. Same with uh, the Aventus bottles that have been released before. Okay. And then you also have the same paperwork literature right here talking about the the history of creed i'm going to read this uh slowly no i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah okay then we're gonna go open it more top right here okay pulling this out Here you go. So, actually in person, this looks way nicer than what people were thinking was just a green Irish tweed bottle with a little tweaks. Uh, actually, the, the reflective parts have some engraving in them. Look, it's more than just triangles. I know that from the photos when you guys see it online it looks like just just cheap ass triangles on this I actually no there's more than that they actually somehow yeah they, they create these uh these different you know random triangles here kind of like a mosaic right there and it actually looks real nice because it actually reflects back okay and then over here you have the 10th anniversary logo again and again, kind of like a git bottle. The cap is silver right here. Okay. Black at the top right there. Silver and black. And then in the back, you have this. And on the bottom, it says made in France. I don't know if this is a batch code, but it's just like, a4220 maybe it is a 2020 batch code right there i don't know if you guys can see that so yeah uh this is it right here now i know that the big question is the scent itself uh let's just say this like i don't think i'm a super master of aventus i mean i have owned 18b11 15r12 i've tried the clones i've tried the other ones that kind of smell like aventus i've tried smoky types i've tried fruity types i even tried the franken batch so how does this really feel for me okay it's my opinion and again uh this is highly subjective because again i'm not an aventus nitpicker uh, i don't nitpick all the aventus nuances but the thing that i noticed that was on uh the page where they sold this is that there were additional notes i think there was like melon or 
some other stuff. So uh, we'll see if it feels any differently. Let's do a full wear right now. Uh, first off, uh, first impression is that it's a Ventus, <laughs> okay? Uh, there's a wallop. There's, there, there's a, a much stronger wallop in this punch right here, in this Aventus right here. Less smoke than what I've tried before. More fruity. From what I've tried before. Yes, I kind of smell a little bit of melon on the on the nuances right here. It's a nice sort of like like an evening time version of a Ventus. You know what I mean? It's kind of like it's 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 not bright. It's just like to me at least, it's like an evening time Aventus, sort of like a night out aventus there's just nuances of this that's fruity but not bright and then not smoky so it's 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 definitely wearable by you know a huge amount of the population so just looking at the differences right uh it seems like on the top notes there is an extra green notes there's extra orange, there's pink pepper as an extra. Um, there's a lot too on the mid notes. It seems like there's, um, yeah, the melon, there's hedion, there's cyclamen, there's neroli, there's juniper, there's melon. Uh, and then it looks like on the base notes, there's leather, uh um broxen yeah there's a there's a bunch of stuff that says it's already added in here but i mean as it goes it 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 smells like aventus i mean i i i don't see any like like super different like nuances here maybe the melon but maybe uh when i fully review this i'll see if those really matter those maybe those notes that eventually reveal themselves but for now i can tell you guys that this is so aventus i mean one of the big reasons you might want to buy this is if you know you don't have aventus in your collection and what would be a better start than getting a 10th anniversary in my case, I actually sold my Aventus to one of my friends, Jose. And right at that time, that's when this one released. So I basically just took part of the uh, revenue from that sale and I put it on this one. And there you go. I have Aventus again. Uh, I don't think it's anything more special already than Aventus. Because at the end of the day, that's what you're going to get. I mean, it's it's 10th anniversary, but it's still Aventus at the end of the day. You're still going to get Aventus. I mean, I, I really don't, I don't see a lot of other things in here, you know? Like, man, I'll probably try to spray it again. I mean, sure, you could say it's kind of fruitier. Uh, apples and pineapple but not a lot of smoke on this one on this one a little bit of that leather comes out already yeah i mean you could say yeah they put all those other notes to kind of round it out but it's not i'm telling you right now it's not a different formula. That's what I'm telling you right now. It's like, it's not going to be how Aventus Cologne was to Aventus. It's basically Aventus with, you could say, heightened addition of notes that, well, make it a more well-rounded Aventus, maybe. 
but I mean, this is just my rationalization of the impact that this has given me. I mean, it does have impact once you spray it, once you wear it. I mean, the longevity and all of that, I'll have to really test. I mean, I'll probably get you guys that info before this releases in the public, October, before October 4. But eventually, I mean, it, it's really a Ventus. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna BS you guys. Uh, ultimately, it's a Ventus in a very nice collector's bottle, tenth anniversary. Uh, for those that are big fans of a Ventus, then go ahead and get it. I mean, you won't go wrong. I mean, it looks absolutely beautiful. I think this also would have some nice trade-in value because a Ventus already has nice trade-in value, but this one would have some nice, nice trade-in value. And like I said, somebody somewhere will always need Aventus because Aventus is that big. There's a reason why they call it the king. Let me say this to all the Aventus haters. Just give an example. When my friend posted uh, a photo of my perfume collection on his uh, Facebook or his Instagram, he basically made a post and he said, look at my friend's perfume collection. And the photo had Bodicias. It had Roja. It had Jerjoff. The thing that the that the chicks that he knew, the thing that they commented on, the only thing they commented on was Aventus. And the response was, hey, that Aventus smells nice from the ladies. So don't believe all that fragcom BS that guys compliment people on Aventus. No, guys compliment people on Aventus because you own it. It's like, yeah, you own one, bro. Good job. But the ladies, the ladies also know how good this one is okay so yeah that's a good way of putting it so aventus is still definitely alive and well in 2020 this is again the 10th anniversary perfume hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions it wasn't really that long it's just well to me i knew what was coming this is aventus in a prettier bottle maybe a little bit of nuances but still aventus so until then guys you guys take care have a great sunday Peace.